uh, not something you have to worry about like learning right now, but I just want to show you like now that you're playing, it's making me pick this thing up more. And I already knew this, but it may, reminds me of stuff. So like for instance, those four, like one, two, three, four on the frets, uh, it makes me think of things that took me forever to learn because I was learning them the wrong way or because I was confused as to what it meant. So to make you progress faster, I'm gonna constantly think of things that took me forever that once it clicked, I was like, why didn't someone explain it to me in this way to where I understood it? So like for instance, the four, the four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, starting on the fifth. I was just playing with this. If I was gonna do G, uh, uh, A major, okay. I, back in the day, I didn't know how to build chords out of a scale. So if you play all those notes, say I wanted to play a chord created in A major. Well, I was just messing around. I was just like, right? So this note is right there. This note is, so it's on the next string south. So now you have those two notes and then this note's there, so that's the next string down. So it's like, I was like, ooh, that sounds nice. And it's all in A major. So it's not an A major chord, but it's it's a chord in A major. So I was like. So you can start writing music as soon as your hands kind of sync together even a little bit which it took me forever because I was like, okay, I have to learn this and I have to learn this and I have to learn this. No, you don't. Like you, you progressively learn more and more, but you don't need to learn all that to learn like write music eventually. So if you were like, okay, and there's so many different ways you can make all the same notes sound. You can go, you can go. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Like that's when you can strip it like that, you can go. Like you can do anything you want. It's, it's, it's crazy how intuitive it is if you just quickly understand it. Because understanding it is all the battle. So if I just created this chord. And if I wanted, I, this this note's in there, I could add that note in there and bar that with my pinky to hit two notes and go. All those notes were in that one. So all I have to do is pick out notes from that on all six strings. So then that makes it like this. I don't know what chord it is. I don't know what I just created. I don't know what, whatever. But I know for a fact that starting here, which is A on the E string, that this isn't the, the key of E major. So, because I'm picking only notes from that E major scale, which means I'm creating chords that fit within the E major scale. And, and, and they're... And that's the most common chord progression you see all through history and all through music. Because, but there's only seven bass notes to play for chords so obviously you're going to see a lot of repetition but it's, isn't that cool like this is a cool thing i'm showing you like now that i'm playing again that you can just like and i like to dick with it and then once you say you played that Like you can dick, just something cool I want to show you. Don't remember it. Don't worry about learning it. it. That's, but I'm just saying like, it took me forever because I wasn't studying the right things. Cause like I was teaching myself. So I'd find little pieces on, on, in books and this and that and practice. And then once YouTube happened, I never got a full linear lesson. So I would get little pieces and they would contradict to each other. Or I didn't understand it. So like just the fact of understanding one, two, when you play uh, a scale, go one, two, three, four. So it's always, you're, you're, you never have to move over much. So it's like, if that note was on that line, 
that fret, that's what you, that middle finger, number two, would pay for it. Same thing here. So, and then you go, okay, same with playing chords in that scale. And just like when I go, same thing, but then I have to move down here because this note's way down here and I want that bass note. That's one of those few times you're gonna have to change it up and go, and just always keep it in that realm. Pretty cool, right?